They're in there. Just, just one in front of your face, they're both going to be passed. Women's History Month. I'd probably look at everyone that's had an influence to, in terms of football. You know, it was difficult growing up playing and being the only girl. And then through that time, we've, I felt we've, we've eradicated that and demystified that myth now. And, you know, women's football is absolutely flying and I don't foresee it stopping. I think it's going to keep going and keep propelling. And even now being, you know, a woman in, in broadcasting, I think the people that have previously been involved in that have, have helped now. So I think historically it's, um, I just think about people and, and pioneers that have enabled, for personally for me, to enable me to do what I do today and my, what I've previously done in terms of playing. So yeah, it's, it can go so far back and you can think about some really influential females that have been really key and pivotal in that. So hopefully in, in more years to come when we continue to look at women and the history of it, you know, it, we will look back and go, wow, we've made such strides and I think we continually will. My mum and dad didn't know what to do with me. I, you know, I was a dancer, and but I fell in love with football and, you know, the sport chose me. I was absolutely besotted with it. And they were like, we don't know what to do with her and where do we take her? How do we, we think she's got a talent. How do we, as supportive parents, how do we encourage this? We, we don't know where to go. And I'm sure my mum and dad had people tell them, what, your daughter plays football? Your little girl plays football? Is she, you know, not want to continue with a dancing or... Um, and so it, it's come such a long way. And now in terms of like the punditry as well, like I felt previously, you know, we've kind of got to a point now where it is acceptable for women to play football and rightly so. And then when I retired and went into the broadcasting side, it was like, oh, women can't talk about football or what does she know on the, the touch screen or the touch table? And, you know, saying, so like, oh God, I've got to start this vicious cycle all over again to kind of prove people that, we, that women can be involved in it. I started doing TV and radio when I was injured whilst I was playing and it was just like, for me it was just a way of staying in the game while I was injured, like learning tactically and going to games and I'm a fan. So it was like, I'm injured, I get to go to a game and then I, I started to fall in love with it. So I was kind of slowly into it and it got to the end of my career where I, I needed a job. I'm not in a financial great position as a female footballer that we didn't particularly earn great. That. I could be picky and choosy and have a gap year and whatever and the opportunity came up I'm like I love football why would I not just dive into it and what I quickly found was just because you played the game doesn't mean you're a good broadcaster so I've had to put in a lot of work a lot of effort to understand that playing football is very different to TV because we are in a TV business or a radio business and it's about um, engagement and um, you know keeping the audience interested and I've had to, to learn that I'm still learning and I think the thing what I've found is I've, I've learned and failed on the job at the highest level at times. Um, whereas when you play football, you come through the under 17s, 19s, and then you hit the first team. Whereas I have trained along the way, but I've had really great moments, but I've had to learn on the job and very quickly. Um, but it's been great. And I think I haven't realized until probably the last couple of months, especially since going to the new job I've gone on and we specifically do touch screen on women's football and we do a lot of analysis in it that um, other people have said, wow, see it, be it. And I've never really thought about that before and the impact I have on my niece. She's 15 and I get real great pleasure when I see in, in our WhatsApp group that she's watched the game, listened to the analysis and hopefully I inspire her some way that you could do whatever you want to do as long as you work hard and you have the right people around you that support and believe in you. And I think that's really important. I think not just players, I think it's women in football. So whether it be the, the camera woman, um, you, know, you know, the commentator, the co-commentator, the presenter, the player, the coach, you know, it, I think she's got more female, specifically in football, I think she has more of a, an association now and an attachment, which is really cool. Um, but I think for me growing up, I didn't have that. You know, my role models were were male footballers and that was amazing, don't get me wrong. And my coaches were my role models and they were male. So I don't have an issue with that because I'm very much thankful that we've got some fantastic male allies that amplify me or push me or, 
you know, encourage me and back me. So I don't have an issue with that. Um, I think sometimes just for someone like my niece, it's great to see that, especially me, if I'm doing punditry with a Michael Owen or a Jamie Redknapp, you know, it, it doesn't matter to her. Like you can, you see, you can be it. Um, and I think that's quite cool. Um, but growing up, I, the only probably the females that I remember were Kelly Smith and Rachel Yankee, but I actually had to actively work hard to go and find information information about them. And I just think they're incredible humans, but mine were David Beckham, you know, Michael Owen. Uh, I mentioned Emil Heskey because I'm a Birmingham fan. Clinton Morrison as well, Robbie Savage because I'm a blues fan. M male role models I looked up to, and again, it's not a problem, um, but I guess it's nice now to have options for, for young girls to have females to look up to. I think we're definitely getting there and just, just keep going with it. It's, everyone's doing amazing, they really are. They're really doing amazing things.